Well, welcome back everybody to Hayes Tech. My name is Dave Hayes and this is the channel where we talk about anything tech. <laughs> what we're going to talk about today is uh, kind of a revisit uh, to my HP laptop. Now the laptop that we're talking about, if you didn't see my earlier video, is the HP 15-DA0053WM. Uh, basically it is the laptop that Walmart sells. The price on this laptop can run anywhere depending on the sale that they're running from about $475 up to $650, $650. Again, that all depends on what kind of sales they're running. Uh, if you guys are, are interested in picking up one of these tablets, I would hold off till about Christmas time because that's when they really start having a lot of their sales and you can usually pick this tablet up which normally sells for about 625 to 650 for about 475 which is a huge savings now the reason I'm doing a follow-up video on this tablet is because I'm having problems with mine and you all know me I don't beat around the bush about anything HP's not paying me money for this Walmart's not paying me money to do this video this is all on me uh, so that gives me the opportunity to give you guys the truth exactly how I see it and you know straight from the heart I guess you could say but uh, my honest opinion so when we come back we're gonna go ahead and jump into the reason why I'm doing an update on this laptop so don't go away we'll be right back And as always, remember to like, share, and subscribe. You hit that notification icon to get a notification of my videos as soon as they're released. That way you don't miss any of them. Okay, well, the first thing I wanted to get out of the way is I wanted to go over some of the main specs um, of this laptop. Uh, and I'm pulling this information right from HP site, and I am doing a screen record too. So I'm probably just going to go ahead and uh, go right to the screen record itself so you guys can actually see it while I'm reading it. As you guys can see, it's an HP Notebook 15-DA0053WM. Uh, um, now under that is your product specifications, um, product number, name, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, here is your microprocessor. Uh, it is an i5-8250U. Uh, um, it runs at a low of 1.6 gigahertz. That is its base frequency, and it'll go up to 3.4 gigahertz uh, with the Intel Turbo Boost technology. It does have six megabytes cache with four cores. The standard memory, it does come with four gigabytes DDR4, uh, 2400 uh, SD RAM. Uh, it came with only one four gig RAM. I put an additional four gigs for, total, for a total of eight gigabytes of RAM. Uh, video graphics, you have uh, right there Intel UHD Graphics 620. Uh, it is an integrated board. Most laptops, uh, the boards are integrated right into the, mother, into the motherboard. There's the hard drive. It does come with a one terabyte with a 5400 RPM uh, SATA hard drive, which is pretty fast. Uh, not as fast as I've seen on some of the higher end laptops and PCs, but, but still fast enough. Uh, 16 gigabyte PCIe now this is the Intel Optane chip that we have and this is what I'm having problem this is what I'm having problems with right now uh, 16 gigabyte PCIe NVMe Intel Optane memory for storage acceleration now now they call it RAM but it's not really RAM and I think I explained it in my last video it is far from being RAM but what it does do is it, it, it gives 16 gigabytes for the system to use uh, kind of like cash but like cash on steroids and believe me I, I don't know how this stuff really works I'm you know I'm not a computer builder uh, I'm not a technician so I don't understand that whole part of it all I know is I was recording 4k video on my laptop it wasn't the fastest but I could do it in 1080p video, I had no problems at all. 
running this. I could stack four videos on top of each other and cut and splice, cut and splice, pulling stuff in and out, and I had no problems. Now I'm having problems just trying to edit a single 1080p clip. That's crazy, guys. Um, and all I did was reset my laptop. Now, for those of you that don't know, I was having problems with my laptop. Um, somehow, <laughs> I think my grandson uh, loaded a program on there and it kind of uh, threw in one of those bugs where it tries to take over your system and it's basically junk. And it is a browser, believe it or not. And it's not Chrome, it's the other one, the other big one. I can't think right now. I'll, I'll look it up what I'm trying to think of because my stroke brain can't remember it. and I'll, I'll post it somewhere up here so you guys know what I'm talking about but it was because of that I decided to just redo the system I you know and I just went I used this applied computer cleaner that came with the laptop and I said I want to start from I want to start from scratch erase everything and you know start like as if I went and just purchased this again now when i bring it up even though my intel optane ram is showing and i'll show you guys that on screen record it's not it's not actually showing it separately as 16 gig like it used to and i cannot and even with half of the programs installed i cannot or i'm having issues editing 1080p video on this laptop and that that sucks i mean i spent 600 and some bucks for this laptop just to edit video I wasn't getting it to edit 4k video that was just a bonus that it would edit 4k video a little slower <laughs> but it would edit it but I did get it so it would edit 1080p video without any lag or slack or anything but I was getting nothing but issues I'm basically making this video to give you guys an update of this laptop and let you know where I'm at right now after doing a factory reset Okay, so let's go ahead and get back into here real quick. I'm not going to go over all of this, but I just want to show you. There's the display, keyboard, pointing device, blah, 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 network interface, expansion slots. Uh, one thing I did want to point out that uh, it does have two USB 3.1 Gen 1. Now, I think it's up to Gen 3 now, but it is. It's at least 3.1 Gen 1 data transfer only. Now, they are on this side of the laptop then you have one USB 2.0 which is on the other side that's where I plug my mouse into but there's your USB information stuff like that uh, it, it goes on with the headphone you know jacks uh, underneath that minimum uh, minimum dimensions which I don't want to talk about weight uh, 2.8 kilos which I don't know the conversion for kilos to uh, pounds just don't know it power supply type and battery type and then your audio features it, it does have dual speakers built in it actually has pretty nice sound for it being such for it being a lower priced laptop I think the sound on it is pretty good but I wanted to show you that I did want to go to Intel Optane to show you uh, I went to their website and I went through all of their troubleshooting guides and I for the life of me cannot I can't get it to connect now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and show you. I'm going to go ahead and go into my, go to uh, Intel Rapid Storage Technology. Okay, as you guys can see, it says current status, everything's working. Uh, it's showing it. Here's the Intel Optane memory. I'm guessing that's it right there, the 13 gig. It should be 16 but it's showing 13 because when I when I if you guys can see it says Intel Optane memory volume type Intel Optane memory 932 gigs no that's my hard drive not my Intel I want this to be on its own so if I click on that manage volume Intel Optane memory manage blah 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 see this should say 16 gigs it shouldn't say so and I, I have done everything in my power to figure out how to get this to work on its own and I can't I can't get it I can't get it to I I cannot get this set up the way it was when I purchased 
the laptop. And again, guys, remember, all I did was a factory reset. That's it. So I, so I just, like, with a clean slate, as if I went out and bought it new again. When I bought it new, it was all set up great and was running good. So I'm making this video to let you all know that this is a bug, at least a bug I found on my, my laptop, and that you guys may want to watch out for it. Be careful. I think when you're spending this much money on a laptop, I could see it if I spent, you know, a couple hundred bucks or three, you know, maybe even up to 400 bucks on a laptop. But when you spend over $500, everything, well, I, it doesn't matter how much you spend on it. What comes on a laptop should work on the laptop, even if you do a factory reset. You know, go back to brand new because I used their services. And they asked me, "What do you want to do? You want to do you want to set this up as, as as if it was just like you purchased it?" And I said, "Yes, that's what I want. I don't want anything on it. I just want it to be brand new, like I purchased it right from Walmart again." And this is what I get. So, again, I'm putting this video out to any of you out there that may know a little more about this than I do, because believe me, I'm not that savvy on Intel Optane memory. I understand it. I had to do a lot of research to figure it out, but I do need help. I need help getting this laptop to get back to where it was when I first purchased it because I'm going to tell you what, guys. When I first purchased this laptop, it really surprised the hell out of me, and I still stand by that today, but with that one caveat, and that is don't do a factory reset on it because if you do, you may end up like me and your Intel Optane doesn't work anymore. Well, it does work, but it's not set up the way it should be. And you don't get that, um, the Intel Optane's not, it's not working like RAM, okay? Before it was set up to, to be kind of like RAM. And I know, guys, it's not RAM. I, I understand that. But the way it was using the cache uh, and its own 16 gigabytes, it, it, it worked kind of like RAM. And it, and it definitely sped the computer up. I could see it in, in video editing alone. I could see the difference. So I know what this computer can do. I want to get it back to that state. So I know HP will not look at this video, will not be watching this video. I mean, you know, that would be funny if they did. But uh, if any of you from HP are watching this video and you know how to fix this, and I've got the screen recorded on. You guys can see everything here, how it's set up. I'll go ahead and click on the Intel Optane memory. This is this is how it is. Performance. I mean, if you guys, if you see something that I need to change, please, please feel free to post below and help me out on this because I would love to get this laptop back to where it was when I made my first review video on this laptop. I have high hopes for it. Again, it's got a good camera, it's got good speakers, it's got it's got a pretty good built-in microphone too, but without this Intel Optane RAM working right, the way it came, you know, set up from HP, it, this laptop's not doing me any good because I am struggling, and I mean struggling, to edit videos now to upload to YouTube. So, come on HP, <laughs> give me give me some help here, man, please. Okay, anyways, guys, I wanted you to see that. Uh, I did want to talk about the Intel Optane uh, a little bit. Here's my performance settings. So again, if any of you know anything about this and you want to help me out with this, please post below, you know, any kind of information that'll help. That's it. I just wanted to uh, update you on my HP laptop that I got from Walmart. Again, do I still recommend this laptop? Absolutely. I, I, re I really do. I was never a big fan of Walmart laptops until I got this one. And I can't remember the brand that I used to, that I got before from Walmart, but I wasn't very impressed with them. Then I picked up this laptop. Uh, I didn't have very high hopes, <laughs> but uh, I did pick up the laptop, and when I brought it home, I was completely blown away with it. Even with four gigabytes of RAM, I could <laughs> very, it, it would take me a while to do it, but I could edit 4K videos 
with uh, four gigs of RAM. And that's what this laptop comes with. Now I did upgrade the RAM. I put one, uh, I put one more four gigabyte uh, chip in it uh, for a total of eight gigabytes of RAM, plus you know that Intel Optane, and it was running great. I mean, it was just really fast. I was very happy with it, and now I, I'm not very happy with it. So uh, I just, I really did want to make this video to give you guys an update on this laptop also as maybe a warning to you all that you don't do a factory reset on your laptop because you may lose your Intel Optane RAM as RAM it's it's there and it recognizes it it's not set up the way it was when I purchased it from Walmart it's, it's just not set up like that and that's what I want I, I would just love to have it back so again HP if you happen to see this video please post below or get a hold of me tell me how to fix this problem well everybody I really appreciate you watching this video I know it wasn't very much um, in the way of well it is I, I think it's tech I also wanted to bring up about the drawing I was gonna have that drawing this week things kinda got a little screwed up for me because of editing my last video it kind of ran me right into Friday so I didn't want to do another video on on Friday halfway through the day and then not be able to get it edited so that drawing is going to be next friday which will be on november 15th i'm going to have that i'm going to have the drawing and i'm not going to tell you guys what i'm going to throw in extra but it's not just going to be that little ring light i'm going to throw in something else so there's only going to be one winner but he's not just getting that ring light i am also throwing in something else with that so um again it's not something you know major um but you know it, it's something you could use okay so i just want to say thank you all for watching again uh i do really appreciate each and every one of you if you're new to the channel uh and you liked my video subscribe think about subscribing um don't forget to hit that notification bell icon that way you get notifications of each and every video i make with me being out of work right now because of my health, uh, I am going to try to put as many videos out as I possibly can. Oh, and for those of you that are wondering about ROM reviews, they are coming. You just have to let me get back, uh -huh, you know, a little bit more up here before I go diving into ROM reviews because they're a lot more difficult doing than, uh, than something like this. So I just want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you on the next one.